Two top emergency managers are out of a job at the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. Yeah, their departures come after investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen found one of them was allowed to keep her six-figure state job after moving all the way to the East Coast. And I'll tell you, Kevin Lindsay, the text messages we obtained between those two public employees threatened to make this an even bigger scandal. One was a top director with the state who allowed her second-in-command to run Minnesota's 911 program from Virginia. Work from home. I work from home two days a week right now. So common, it's got its own acronym. How's it going? We recently asked people about it. Do you ever want to go back to the old way? No. Emphatically, no. A post-pandemic reality. You work from home at all? If they do that for a few months. So common, Mayor Fry had to walk back this jab. You become a loser. If it was absolutely an emergency, how quick could you get in if you had to? Uh, I could get into the office in 10, 15 minutes. But what about when out of office also means out of state? Like, way out. Five investigates found more than 80 Minnesota government employees living in states that don't even border Minnesota. That includes the state's 911 program manager. We got a tip that she was managing Minnesota's emergency communication networks 1,300 miles from the office. But just 10 minutes from the oceanfront here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. To not even have the basic skin in the game that you're a resident, a taxpaying resident in this state, that's to me a problem. But that 911 manager, Sandy Stroud, was not breaking any rules. Last summer, her boss. We're asking people to take responsibility. Division director Dana Wahlberg signed off on Stroud moving full time to Virginia. A fact the Minnesota Department of Public Safety blacked out when five investigates requested Stroud's telework agreement and other public records. After we started asking questions in January, text messages we obtained between Stroud and Wahlberg show the two seemed more concerned about who I was and exactly who tipped me off. Their prime suspects? The state's partners at the Metropolitan Emergency Services Board, or MESB. Wahlberg calling the women there sneaky and something else we'd rather not say on TV. When Stroud suggests it might be MESB chair Trista MC, Wahlberg doubles down, calling her that word again on steroids. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. We showed the messages to the one they called Trista MC. That's Trista Martinson. She's also chair of the Ramsey County Board of Commissioners. It's not surprising. I've been called worse by finer people. Let's just get this out of the way. You didn't tip me off about this story, did you? Uh, no, not at all. She says Stroud's move to Virginia probably didn't pose much of a danger to public safety readiness, but it does raise larger questions about how they serve taxpayers at all levels of government. If we're all working remotely, do we lose trust and confidence? Do we lose that relationship, which really is important? And at what point do we need to come back together to have eyes on to say, are we missing something? And I think that's the difference. It's not can you, but should you, is the question. It's a question State Senator Mark Coran has been asking since he was elected in 2017. We have very little accountability for any employees, even when they used to sit right across from their manager. Every year, Coran's office asks Minnesota management and budget for a breakdown. In 2022, more than 1,000 state employees were living out of state. Last year, 82 of them were living in states that don't border Minnesota. Coran says the case of the 911 program manager that we uncovered stands out. Like every other city in Minnesota, emergency services personnel typically have to live within an hour of proximity for that very purpose. So why would it not apply here to a job that covers the entire state? Right now, there's no such statewide policy for Minnesota, but we checked with several other states and found the Iowa Department of Public Safety says remote employees must be able to report to work within one hour of notification. After we started asking Minnesota DPS about the decision to allow Sandy Stroud to work remotely from Virginia, internal emails show her boss, Wahlberg, wrote, maybe this is a ploy to get rid of me. Neither she nor Stroud would agree to our interview requests, but weeks later, Wahlberg announced her retirement. 
Sandy Stroud texted, I'm not laying down. When superiors at DPS started asking about our investigation in January. But Stroud, now a Virginia resident, quit her long-distance job with the state of Minnesota last week. Are you glad a little more sunlight's kind of sprinkling in? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's best disinfectant. Transparency. We've been asking to speak with someone from the Department of Public Safety for weeks now. So far, DPS Commissioner Bob Jacobson and his interim director of that emergency communication networks have both declined. As far as those nasty text messages, we yeah. asked about those two. A spokesperson told us some of the language was, quote, inappropriate and falls short of the standards of professionalism and respect that's expected from DPS employees. And again, that quote, it's not could you, but should you. That kind of summarizes. And do you have the skin in the game? Yeah, that yeah. was a really big point. Yeah. All right, Eric, Thanks, Eric. thank you. Really interesting. All right.